Well, hello YouTube. We're doing part two of our project to put a vanity top on this piece of uh, furniture that we fixed up earlier in an earlier video. This is kind of what we got. We've got it out of the box. That's what it's going to look like on the top. And it's got the pre, the sink all set into it here. For all of you guys out there where your girlfriends read a blog or check blogs about home decorating and all that stuff, I've got a little bit of a warning for you. When your girlfriend tells you she saw a blog the other day where they converted this piece of furniture into a vanity top uh, and she wants you to do it, make sure you understand exactly what they did on that blog and the materials that they did it with. What we've got here now is we've got a piece of furniture, cabinet, thank goodness that's free because we mess it up, it's not going to be a problem. And we've got this pre-cast, pre-made vanity top, marble vanity top. And we've got to fit it in there. And we've got to make sure that it's just as easy as they did on the blog. Well, not so fast. What you got to be aware of is that when you're dealing with pre-cast, pre-made stuff, you don't have quite as much flexibility as you do if you were to measure it all up, make your custom uh, marble piece for your cabinet and cut a smaller sink in to fit your cabinet, that would, might be the easier way to do it. Or to put a sink on top, one of those fancy bowl sinks you put on top of the, uh, uh, the cabinet and all that stuff. That would be easy and that's probably what the blog showed, not this. So we've got a little bit of a problem here and I think we've got it figured out. So I'll kind of show you what, uh, what we've got going on here. And we need a 15 inch wide cut out for this sink and unfortunately our whole deal here is only about 19 inches and we've got the holes in the back here that we've got to have available to plumb the water supply so we go over here and we've kind of laid it out and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat up here I've got you can see a line right here I've already got it drawn in there we're going to cut a hole 15 inches, that's going to give me a little bit of meat here. The edge of the counter will stick out another, about, about three quarters of an inch. So it'll stick out to about here, which should be all right. And then I'm going to have to figure out, I'll deal with the, uh, the plumbing holes later, because I think they're going to come out right about in here. So I'll, I'll have to, once I get it on there, I'll figure out how I'm going to deal with that. Uh, so what we're ready to do now is go ahead and cut this hole. cut saw here okay there's our hole for the sink and we're gonna do a quick fit and see how close I got So far, I think we've done all right here. Got a one inch hole saw here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna drill all the way through that. I'm just gonna start it because I don't wanna chip any of this marble here. So I'm just gonna kinda get in here and start the hole so I'll know where to go. Kinda like that. There. 
Now when I take that off, I'll know exactly where those holes have got to be. Got the top out. Hopefully I won't have to do that too many more times because obviously the risk of breaking it increases with the number of times you move it around. So, but I've got my marks here for where I need to drill those holes. With these holes that we have now for the spout, for the spout and the hot and cold, I need a little more space to be able to uh, tighten up the flange nuts underneath these, each of these. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a little bit right in here, and then I'm going to reinforce it probably with a piece of 3 8 plywood that'll come up to here and here, and then I can re keep this reinforced. That way I'll have a little bit of a of a gap in here, but I'll still have some good reinforcement. Okay, what we've got here now, I've got this piece. I'm going to put a little glue in here, glue on here, down here where it hits, and put that in there. And I think that'll give me plenty of uh, uh, sheer strength in the event I need it at all, to be frank. Love this Milwaukee Fuel 12 volt impact driver. I've got it on the lowest range right now. These, this thing is awesome. Okay, I think that's going to be fine. We'll clean up a little bit of this glue. So now, even if I, even if I actually cut that piece out, I think I'd be fine. This has got enough reinforcement in here uh, that it's not going anywhere. I decided to cut out these pieces where I actually had the holes through here. Put a little reinforcement on here. I also uh, put some reinforcement down here and just cut out the hole, a big hole here, so I don't have to juggle with uh, trying to fine tune fit the plumbing uh, through the back there. So I figured this will just make it a little easier to slide up against the wall. So now we're getting ready to put the, uh, put the top on. Gorilla, 100% silicon sealer, put a little, some beads around here. 
lay that on there. I've found that this stuff is awesome. Got that on there. I think what I'll go ahead and, and do next is go ahead and put the, uh, the plumbing fixtures in it right while I've got it right here. Ah, wouldn't you know it, those damn things. Okay, see these things here are supposed to, they're the little uh, washer that goes up underneath here, but I'm not sure if you can tell there. They won't fit the holes that the substrate has in it. So I'm gonna to have to grind off a little bit of each of the corners there to make those. We've got the cabinet all in there with the vanity top on it. Everything is plumbed up. No leaks, which is always a good thing to check and make sure of. And uh, so that wraps up this little segment.